What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a two-in-one WWE Elite figure review on WWE Elite Series 95, Eddie Guerrero and John Cena. Now, you guys know that I am probably the biggest John Cena fan slash mark or action figure collector you'll ever find. I consider myself the biggest John Cena action figure collector out there, and I'm trying to become the ultimate John Cena fan, biggest John Cena fan out there, so we'll see how that goes. But generally, Mattel lets me down with John Cena releases with the inaccuracies and the mashups and the just, just brutal things that they do sometimes to Cena. But this one looks like it could be a really big gem, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited for the new gear. I'm excited for the classic mold. I'm excited for the new upgrades. We're going to get into all those things, of course. And we have a brand new Eddie Guerrero from the Ruthless Aggression Era. So we're, we're winning all over the place here. But if you guys would like to grab these figures, you already like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS and save yourselves 10%. But you do have the front viewing window of Eddie Guerrero and John Cena right here. Looking pretty daggum good to me. I like what I see so far except for his broken finger right here. Got an image of both talents there. We got Eddie Guerrero and John Cena's names down here on the side, bookshelf style. Got beautiful images of the men here. On the back, you get great images as well. Got some bio read. If you'd like to read their bios, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. I don't know how I feel about the set. I guess we'll have to wait until my damn thoughts or something, but there's the names on the other side. You got Series 95 at the top as we slowly approach the underwhelming Elite 100. That's just a little cheap shot. Nothing crazy, just a little jab right there. A little, little, little poke right there in the ribs. But I'm excited to crack these guys open, find out what they're all about, add this John Cena up on the shelf of the 110 plus John Cena action figures, not even just basics. I don't even really collect the basics. It's all elites and ultimates. It's over 110 at this point, I think. But we won't know how good they are until we crack them out of the packaging. So with that being said, let's crack Eddie Guerrero and the GOAT out of, out of their prison here. So here's Eddie Guerrero and the GOAT out of their packaging, liking what I am seeing thus far. You guys know that uh, typically that's how I started off. If, if, if I'm feeling pretty confident about the figures, I will state that immediately at the beginning. But I'm very excited to finally have another John Cena that features the t-shirt and the hat, the full getup. We got a new Eddie Guerrero here. Always love Guerrero. So I'm hyped, man. Really excited. Can't wait to get my hands on the chase as well. But what we're going to do is run through Eddie Guerrero's accessories and Eddie Guerrero, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the GOAT's accessories and the GOAT himself. So with Eddie Guerrero's accessories, not a ton going on. You know, you do get the championship, which is always beautiful, and this is actually my favorite version of SmackDown Tag Titles that we've ever seen. The WWE Tag Team Championships. Always wanted these from Mattel, and uh, I know that, like, back in the day, it used to be really hard to get your hands on, and now, like, you guys kind of have, like, a, a ridiculous deal there, because you used to have to pay ridiculous aftermarket prices, but they've kind of pumped it out a little bit there. It's still kind of hard to get your hands on, I guess, but this is just a beautiful championship. You guys know that we recently got the World Tag Titles, the, the raw half of the titles, we with the Legends Kane figure, which I've yet to review. I do have three of those over there on ice. Still looking for Lex Luger. I was going to do the full wave together, or you guys just want to see Stacy, X Pac, and Kane all together. You guys let me know. But this title looks fantastic. And then outside of that, you just have interchangeable hands, right? You just have the white tape here with the fists, you know, the synonymous Eddie Guerrero white tape. And then you have the white tape again hands with Mike holding hands, but they're, yeah, it's just same thing. Just Mike holding slash chair wielding slash whatever the hell you want. You got those right there. So getting into Eddie Guerrero, probably the biggest thing about this figure that a lot of people are not thrilled about is the head sculpt. And I think that, I don't know, it's not like horrific. Like, I, I just think it's kind of jacksy, right? It has like a jacksy like quality to it. And that's kind of what we're looking at. You know, it's got a jax quality. I think it looks like Guerrero. I think he's a little bit chunky, you know, if you shaved off the jaw or maybe if I heated up the head and then like shaped it up a little bit. But, you know, it's not bad. I like the ripped up torso for him. He was jack, so the, these arms and this torso works for me. The only thing is like the skin tone's not the most accurate as we know. I don't know if they'll ever change that. I mean, they changed Hulk Hogan so I guess it's anything's possible. Really like the tealish green tights. Don't know how accurate it is. I don't remember this exact color. It's coming off a lot more blue on camera than it is in person, to be honest with you, but it's got the nice Eddie Guerrero graphics going down the black metallic gold. You get the green flames mixed in there. Latino on the back for Latino heat as the flames suggest. Very cool going down. Not pinless yet, but he does have his signature black and gold boots on there, which is really nice as well, but dude, this, this is a great figure. I love Eddie Guerrero. I, I'll always love Eddie Guerrero. This figure is phenomenal. Really enjoy what I'm getting out of here, but you guys know the uh, the deal with the articulation. I mean, it's regular elite style articulation that we've seen before. Really tight waist on this guy, but he can he can do everything you need. You know, the Eddie Guerrero, it's not anything different than what we've seen besides double jointed arms and, you know, that uh, like his Hall of Fame figure didn't have double jointed arms, but I did make a version with double jointed arms, which is really nice, but I need to get my hands on the chase now because I, I gotta have every Eddie Guerrero, man. 
man. I mean, that's just the way it is. But there's Eddie Guerrero. Let's get into some figure comparisons. Now, I used to have his Hall of Fame figure, and I'm not talking about the four pack on the right, which is right there, but I used to have that other version, but then I customized it and broke it down like a moron. But here's kind of your figure comparisons. You have the Legends Elite on the left, which was Target exclusive, and then you have the Hall of Fame four pack Target exclusive on the right, and then you have the brand new Elite 95 in the middle, and it's kind of cool. I think I, I have multiples of this Legends figure. I think I need multiples of this to put this head over here and then this head over here just to kind of give me a different look for Eddie Guerrero, but I do like that they have different boots, and it is it is a different figure. It is completely different. Different tights, different head, double jointed arms, different boots. It is different. It's definitely different, which I enjoy, and then I also wanted to put Ray in here. I know it's not the most accurate Ray to the time, but it is a long pants updated Ray from, you know, around that era, so I wanted to see what these look like up next to each other, and I don't have... I used to have custom Los Guerreros, but I, I, I think it was for a birthday present. I sent them to my boy Unstable Christian, and I gave him those, and I had like a custom Chavo and a custom Eddie and Los Guerreros tights, and so I did give those away, but, you know, I all for my friends there, but this is this is cool to see. I wish I had those figures just to see what this looked like, but you guys get the point for the sake of the review. So for John Cena's accessories, I'm not going to include the sweatbands. I feel like I guess they are technically accessories, but I'm going to count those as part of the figure mold that can be removed. Now, getting into the shirt, this is kind of just nostalgic Mattel classic John Cena shirt. Respect, earn it, no back graphic, unfortunately. I dream of a day where we will get, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin style shirt from the Ultimate Edition, where it, it is no Velcro, and it comes in the Elite line, and you have John Cena with both graphics, with nothing there, but it's still a great green color. The graphic looks really clean, and this looks so good. I like this a lot, and Mattel's been doing this for years, so I think they nailed it right here. Very nice. Fits the figure well. You guys saw it on the figure, so that's really cool. You also have the You Can't See Me hat, and it's got its updated graphics. Yellow bill, green top, hustle, loyalty, respect, never give up, earn the day. Very cool, and the only thing I have a gripe with is that it doesn't fit the figure head, but you know, uh, I mean, I don't really know what to say because this head sculpt looks really good and it's accurate. It just, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit well and it just falls right off. So I don't know. I mean, you might could make it work, but uh, I feel like if you want to display it with a hat, give it a different John Cena head. And then if you're doing a John Cena without the hat, then put this head back on if that makes sense. So if he's wrestling, use this head. If he's not wrestling, then uh, give him a different head and just, you know, pop that on there. You could use literally any of them. It really doesn't matter. Maybe the basic 100 or the top talents, the ultimate edition head sculpts that completely works there. But outside of that, you get Mike holding hands, of course, in the same Cena skin tone. And then you have your You Can't See Me slash Finn Balor entrance hands. You know, that we've seen these a million times, but you get the point. You can't see me. That's the point. So getting into the Goat Man, starting out with the head sculpt, brand new John Cena head, which I like a lot. I think Mattel did a great job on this. The smirk is there. The hair looks really good. I love the fade job that they did right there. That looks really good. I'm afraid that we're going to get this head sculpt a trillion times. You know what I mean? Kind of similar to that basic one that we got not too long ago. Similar to the basic 100, right? They love to reprint and use the hell out of these heads. So I can see us getting this about 20 million times. This will be on the next 10 basics for John Cena. But it looks really good, which is always a great choice. We do have the Cena torso that we'd love to see. Double jointed arms with the pinless. The sweatbands sculpted and removable. What a beautiful step up from the past where it was just painted on. I mean, good God, it adds so much to the figure. And now I have to go back and complete my, my sweatbands like on all my figures. Don't you think so? I mean, I feel like that is something I must do. I must upgrade every Cena that's displayed on the shelf over there. But you have the other side in the yellow. It does say hustle, loyalty, respect. And then you do have the bicep band and the never give up. I may hit that with some like yellow paint or something because it looks like a bit thin. Like it doesn't give it the saturation that I might like. Might hit that with some yellow paint, but it looks good. Love the shorts color. Nice natural tone, you know, deep, dark blue there, which is good. He did have his red, white, and blue belt on actually, but uh, I guess I guess you could you could argue that it wasn't an exact moment and you know it could have been from a different night when he wore black belt but we know we know going down you do have a little paint chip there but you have the signature knee pads we've seen this mold a hundred times and then you have the black and white sneakers with the calves there and i just god in heaven i love cena figures and this is like the perfect john cena mold man like this is like i know the ultimate's great the ultimate is terrific and the top talents isn't bad with the updated stuff going on but they do use different torsos this is more your older cena compared to your younger Cena, which makes sense there, but I just love all the, the, the articulation for this specific Cena mold is so good, and now that they've added double jointed arms, I mean, this is going to be even better, but yeah, this is just fantastic, man. Let's get into some figure comparisons for this John Cena. Now, for your Cena figure comparisons, here is this updated, like, the last kind of attire we got, that you can't stop me, sort of Super Showdown-esque gear in the Navy, and just look how much 
better it looks with sculpted bands versus the painted on bands. It's it's ridiculous, and I just I just love it. But here's a couple updated Cenas or more recent Cenas in the longer jorts, and of course I do love the Ultimate Edition John Cena, one of my favorite figures they've ever done. But it is cool to see these up next to each other and see the most recent elites here in Elite 95 and the top talents. Now this scene is probably going to fly off shelves, but I'm going to try my best to get these when they do show up at retail just for formulas and fix-ups and stuff of the future, of course. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for our John Cena figure comparisons. Just, God, what a what a specimen. What a goat. You know, who your goat could never. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of John Cena and Eddie Guerrero from Elite Series 95. Really enjoy both figures. I think that it's awesome that we're getting a different era of Guerrero. You know, our last one was kind of that 05-ish. This is more of like a Los Guerreros type, right? It comes with the Tag Team Championship. I would love to see Chavo Guerrero make a return to pair with this. Don't know how realistic that is, but we haven't seen Chavo Guerrero. We've seen him one time ever in Elite form. It was Elite 5, and that's one of the most sought-after Elites from Mattel. Maybe we'll see it in the Greatest Hits line. Maybe do like a repaint of him and give him the same green gear here to match with Eddie. I think that would be really cool, or one of, one of the gears, you know, with the, the other half of the SmackDown Tag titles. I think that would be impressive. I would love to see that in the line, but outside of Guerrero's head sculpt, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt, but it is a different take, and it is cool to see another Eddie Guerrero, and you guys know how I feel about John Cena. My favorite wrestler of all time. Looks beautiful. I enjoy it. I like the gear. You know, it wasn't my favorite gear by any sorts, but I think the shirt color looks good, and the, the armbands look great. Can't wait to grab multiples of these. I think the new head sculpt is really cool with his updated haircut. Really cool moment, you know, when he returned there, and I love the pinless joints. I, I, I am almost to the point where if we can get this John and multiple different legs, so I don't have to do shoulder swaps and stuff like that. If we can get different colors and stuff, this mold for Cena is perfect to me because it's so poseable and it looks really, really good. So if we could get ourselves a version of this figure just updated with different shorts colors, then I could upgrade my entire shelf of John Cena's and kind of invest into that and fix them up and get all the different looks. But I, I love it, man. I love any John Cena they release. I'm right there. Unless they have the inaccuracies, which wasn't really a problem today, which is very shocking. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shot. Out. I really enjoyed both figures though and think you should absolutely go out of your way to get these but let's get into our random shout out. This shout out is going to go to Frankie13 who says love the Britt Baker figure in the new head sculpt much improved over the previous Britt Baker figure. I can only hope a Taz in the future will also improve. Jazzwares continues to get better but lags far behind Mattel right now when it comes to face scans and scaling. Competition between Mattel and Jazzwares has moved wrestling figures forward which is a win for all of us collectors loved the reviews MDT. Huge shout out to Frankie for that comment. Thought that was awesome and a great in-depth look because I agree with him right there. I think Mattel is still winning the battle right now. I think that some of the stuff they're doing with these elites is just insane. We saw it at Comic-Con. You know, Jazzwares is kind of a smaller company, so they're still trying to get, you know, up there at that level, but they are grinding constantly. I love AEW figures. I am enjoying them so far. Cannot wait to see what the Supremes hold and, you know, how they compare to Ultimates, but yeah, I think Frankie has hit the nail right on the skull with that one, Brad, but huge shout out to Frankie for the comment, man. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me your thoughts on Elite 95. Kind of wild how we've had just elite series and unrivaled series and exclusives just bang 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 just coming and coming and coming that was cool audio i'm sure somebody will leave me some stupid comment that'll make me just shoot milk out of my face there's more audio anyways i'm getting the hell out of here just don't yeah you gotta just stop the video now before people cross the line you cross the line